hello everyone and welcome back to glancer before we get started if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update okay guys now let's discuss what is meant by supervised assistant so first you have to know what is meant by supervised i have already said that in supervised we will be using something called as label data that i have explained in my previous videos uh, if you haven't watched that video please do watch it and come back to this video so you will be getting the clear explanation about what is labeled data so now let's see what is meant by supervised the systems so first thing what is the main aim of this i mean this systems in order to treat with this word sense disambiguation right so let's discuss the first point supervised systems for word sense disambiguation use machine learning train classifiers on manually annotated data see in the supervised systems uh, there are supervised algorithms there are many supervised algorithms so basically the that algorithms are known as classifiers so what these classifiers will do is if any data set is given to them that is mean but that is what what do you mean like if you are giving some data set to the classifier it, it means nothing but you are training that classifier so if you are training a classifier i mean you are feeding some data set to that classifier so what this classifier will do is it will categorize the data it will categorize the data so it will predict something from that after categorizing the data whenever a new data is given to it it will predict the certain thing from that particular trained classifier so in the supervised systems already said that you will be using the manually annotated data so they will uh, train this particular classifiers by using this manually annotated data now let's discuss the second point these systems typically perform better than unsupervised methods when tested on annotated data but require significant manual effort for annotation and a predetermined sense inventory so i've already said that we are going to use manually annotated data sets for this particular supervised systems but when you compare the supervised systems to the unsupervised systems these supervised systems will perform better than the unsupervised methods but the only uh, disadvantage about the supervised systems is they require a huge manual effort that's it and the third point is use various machine learning models like support vector machines and maximum entropy classifiers so we are not going to learn about this uh, machine learning models if you know them then it, it is good but if you don't know then it is not required to learn in this particular subject i am only telling for this particular subject there is no need to learn about this models okay then coming to the features in features in supervised systems what are the features that are used in supervised systems so the first one is lexical content what is mean by lexical content the name only tells that we are going to uh, search for lexemes in that particular sentence if a particular sentence is given you are going to take the lexemes from it okay then the second feature is parts of speech same thing if a given sentence is given you are going to annotate each word with the parts of speech tags and the third one is local collocations that means see if the mostly if something disambiguation occurs in that sentence mostly you are going to understand the meaning of that particular word which is causing disambiguity by the previous words or the next words to it to that particular word right so if you take this particular thing he bought a box of nails you are going to determine this particular meaning the meaning of this particular word by either by seeing the previous sentence or the next words to it i mean there is no words to next to it but you are going to determine the meaning of that particular word by knowing this particular a uh, sentence or words okay and the third and the fourth uh, feature is topic feature so topic is nothing but a domain if you know the domain of that particular sentence then it will be easy for you to sense what the i mean you are it is easy for you to sense that particular word i mean the meaning of that particular word and there are some additional features also the first one is voice of the sentence 
we have to determine whether it is active voice passive voice or semi passive and the, the next feature is presence of subject or object uh, if that particular word is causing this ambiguity in that particular sentence, you have to determine whether it is a subject or object. So by determining whether it is a subject or object, you can actually eradicate this problem of versions disambiguation. So these are the features that you are going to use in supervised systems. And coming to the advantages, so what are the advantages of it? So what's the main advantage of this particular uh, supervised systems is basically you are going to have rich feature set and also the data set is annotated. So definitely it is going to achieve high accuracy when compared to unsupervised systems. Then what are the limitations? Limitations is only one thing that is you require human effort. Without human effort, you are not going to achieve this high accuracy. Okay. So it is also a time consuming and expensive process. So this is about the supervised system. So in the next video, we are going to discuss about the unsupervised systems. Thank you so much for watching till end. I noticed that many of you were watching my content but haven't subscribed yet. If you feel these lectures are really helping you, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really motivates me a lot to create more content like this. Don't forget to like and share with your friends who might find it useful. See you in the next video.